Have you ever wondered what the deepest part of the ocean hides? The answer lies far beneath the surface in a place known as the Mariana Trench. This is no ordinary trench, it's the deepest part of the world's oceans, a place of mystery and intrigue that has captivated the curiosity of explorers and scientists for centuries. The Mariana Trench is nestled in the western Pacific Ocean, to the east of the Mariana Islands, hence its name. This colossal trench stretches over 1,500 miles long and 43 miles wide, plunging down nearly 7 miles at its deepest point, known as the Challenger Deep. This trench was not always known to us. Its existence was first revealed to the world during the Challenger Expedition in 1875. This British voyage of scientific discovery was the first to measure the depths of the world's oceans. As the crew sailed over the Western Pacific, their soundings revealed an underwater chasm of unimaginable proportions. They had discovered the Mariana Trench, and with it, a new frontier of exploration and scientific discovery. The depth of the Mariana Trench is so profound that if you were to place Mount Everest at the bottom, its peak would still be over a mile underwater. Imagine that! This is a place where the pressure is over a thousand times greater than at sea level, and the temperature hovers just above freezing. It's a world cloaked in perpetual darkness, far beyond the reach of the sun's light. Despite these harsh conditions, life persists in the trench. Scientists have discovered creatures that have adapted to survive in this extreme environment, sparking a whole new field of deep-sea biology. The Mariana Trench, named after the nearby Mariana Islands, is a world of extreme pressure and darkness, a place where few dare to venture. It's a testament to the boundless curiosity of mankind, a reminder that even in the depths of the sea, there are still new frontiers to explore and mysteries to unravel. The secrets of the Mariana Trench remained mostly untouched until 1960. The year marked a milestone in the exploration of the world's deepest point, the Challenger Deep, with the daring descent by the Bathyscaphe Trieste. This remarkable vessel, tough enough to withstand the immense pressures of the deep, was manned by two audacious explorers, Swiss oceanographer Jacques Picard and U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh. This was no ordinary dive. The Trieste had to withstand pressures more than a thousand times greater than at sea level, and temperatures barely above freezing. The journey down was a slow, nerve-wracking affair. For nearly five hours, Picard and Walsh descended deeper and deeper into the seemingly endless darkness, the weight of the ocean pressing in from all sides. The conditions they faced were extreme. The pressure at the bottom of the Mariana Trench is more than eight tons per square inch, equivalent to having about 50 jumbo jets piled on top of you. It's a world of perpetual darkness, where the sun's rays cannot penetrate, and temperatures hover just above freezing. Yet despite these hostile conditions, life endures, a testament to the resilience of nature. With a floodlight and a small window as their only means of observation, Picard and Walsh could make only limited observations. Their floodlight illuminated strange, pale creatures darting away from the unexpected intrusion. They reported seeing a flatfish at the bottom, a claim that sparked much debate among scientists. A malfunction in the vessel cut their time on the ocean floor short, with the window beginning to crack under the unfathomable pressure. They had to cut their observations short and begin the lengthy ascent back to the surface. After nearly five hours of descent, they had barely 20 minutes on the ocean floor, a fleeting glimpse into the abyss. But this first descent was a pioneering achievement, opening the door to further exploration and sparking a curiosity that continues to drive us deeper into the mysteries of the Mariana Trench. It would take more than half a century before the next successful descent, and it came in the form of a one-man submarine, piloted by none other than the renowned filmmaker James Cameron in 2012. As the creator of box office hits like Titanic and Avatar, Cameron wasn't new to exploring uncharted territories, but this time, it was not the realm of fiction, but the deepest part of our world's oceans he was venturing into. In his aptly named submarine, the Deep Sea Challenger, Cameron embarked on a journey to the Mariana Trench's darkest depths. This was a place so deep that sunlight could not reach, a place where pressure is over a thousand times greater than at sea level. It was a world that humans had only glimpsed once before, and Cameron was about to bring it into sharper focus. What he found was nothing short of astounding. As the outside world waited with bated breath, Cameron descended deeper and deeper, beyond the reach of natural light, into a world that was as alien as it was fascinating. 
he encountered new species, strange and wonderful creatures that had adapted to live in this harsh environment. He observed geological features that had never been seen before, evidence of our planet's tumultuous history. Perhaps the most surprising discovery, however, was the abundance of life at such depths. Despite the crushing pressure, the freezing temperatures and the complete absence of sunlight, life thrived. Microscopic organisms illuminated the darkness with their bioluminescent glow, and strange creatures scuttled across the ocean floor, proving that life, in its many forms, is far more resilient than we ever imagined. So, what did this expedition tell us? It reminded us of the vastness of our world, the beauty of its diversity, and the resilience of life. It showed us that even in the harshest of environments, there are creatures that can survive, adapt, and thrive. It was a testament to nature's incredible ability to create and sustain life in the most unlikely of places. Under extreme conditions, life finds a way. And indeed, the Mariana Trench was proof of that. The Mariana Trench still holds many secrets, sparking new expeditions. The allure of its dark depths remains as potent as ever. The uncharted territory a beacon for explorers and scientists alike. One such individual is Victor Vescovo, a name that rings familiar to those well-versed in the world of deep-sea exploration. In the year 2019, Vescovo embarked on an expedition that pushed the boundaries of human exploration, setting a new depth record. His submersible, the limiting factor, descended to an astonishing 36,070 feet, surpassing the previous record set by James Cameron in 2012. This journey to the bottom of the Mariana Trench was more than a record-breaking feat, it was a voyage of discovery. Vescovo's descent unveiled new species of sea creatures, adding to our growing understanding of life in extreme environments. Among these discoveries were translucent amphipods and snailfish, creatures that have adapted to thrive in the crushing pressures of the deep trench. However, Vescovo's expedition also revealed a darker side of the Mariana Trench. At the very bottom of the trench, in the most remote and inhospitable place on Earth, he found something that shouldn't be there. Plastic. The presence of plastic pollution at such depths is a stark reminder of the reach of human impact, even in the places we least expect. These recent expeditions have not only expanded our knowledge, but also raised new questions and concerns. The discoveries of new species highlight the vast biodiversity of our oceans, while the presence of plastic pollution underscores the urgency of environmental stewardship. As we look to the future, the Mariana Trench remains a frontier for exploration and discovery. Scientists and explorers are gearing up for new expeditions equipped with advanced technologies and driven by a thirst for knowledge. They seek to uncover the secrets of the trench to understand its unique ecosystems and to address the pressing environmental challenges that face our planet. The Mariana Trench, a place of wonder and concern, continues to captivate us. So, what have we learned about the Mariana Trench thus far? The Mariana Trench, this grand chasm in the Pacific, was first unveiled to the world in the late 19th century. A seemingly endless abyss, it captivated the imaginations of scientists and explorers alike, beckoning them towards its depths. The first descent into the trench, a daring venture undertaken by Jacques Picard and Don Walsh in 1960, was a journey into the unknown. It etched their names into the annals of history and marked the beginning of our understanding of this underwater world. From their daring adventure they returned with tales of a barren lunar landscape, a place of darkness and pressure but also a place of incredible potential. Decades later the second descent brought a whole new perspective. This time the fearless explorer was James Cameron, a filmmaker turned deep sea adventurer. His expedition in 2012 unveiled creatures and geological formations previously unknown. From ethereal translucent sea creatures to towering underwater mountains, his descent painted a vivid picture of the trench's complex ecosystem and diverse terrain. Today, exploration continues, fueled by advances in technology and an insatiable curiosity about the largely uncharted depths of the trench. But with this exploration comes a responsibility. The trench's delicate ecosystem is under threat from human activities. The impact of pollution, overfishing, and climate change on this hidden world is a stark reminder of our interconnectedness with the natural world, even in its most remote corners. The Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the ocean, is still a place of mystery and discovery. What secrets it holds, only time will tell. Yet, as we continue to delve into its depths, let us remember our duty to protect and preserve it. 
for the Mariana Trench is not just a part of our planet's history, but also a key to understanding its future.